Hello, welcome back to another 1001 Beers. You must travel for your day. I'm here uh, after a lo long day uh, doing working very hard, of course, so I thought I'd review a nice beer and a lighter one. Um, well, light in terms of the style of beer. So it's this one is from Germany. I haven't had any German beers for ages. It's first brewed circa 1817. I like that. It's 5.6%, I think. Is it still 5.6%? It is, though, still on the bottle, and it is... Tegernsia Special, or Special. Uh, love the design. It's a proper classic German beer bottle, beer design. The whole thing on the back is all in German. There's no English to be had, which is great. Um, lots of crests and lions, and this is brilliant. Uh, does have a does have a chocolate coin though, which is always a benefit <coughs> and a bonus. So. Um, Let's crack this open, and oh, so if I've got a nice German beer, I get to have my German beer glass, my Stein. So it's just, I don't get to bring out very often, so let's just put that to one side for a minute. Crack this, this bad boy open. Uh, nice little bottle cap there, that's quite a nice little detail. Okay, so. This is a lager. Uh, not one, I, not a style I've had before. It is, it's uh, marketed as a Bavarian style light lager. That, that's interesting. It's called a Bavarian style light lager, but it's five point six percent, which is interesting because there are lighter lagers in Germany. Um, right, that looks great. Uh, tasting notes: light, blonde, and brilliant. The finely poured white head, a sweet nose of, with a biscuity lightness, and the palate expect a pronounced maltiness. Semi dry, mild finish. Okay, nice bit of head on the top there, it's just like a smattering. Uh, it's fizzing away nicely in the stein. It's very, very light, it's quite light, not not super, super light uh, or pale, <coughs> but not like another darker lager. Right, let's go for the smell. It smells slightly floral, um, uh, slight sweetness, it smells very lagery, I'll be honest. Uh, but I'm kind of in the mood for logs. I'm kind of hot. I'm quite thirsty. So this is a great one on a summer's day. So, cheers. Or Prost, as I say in Germany. Oh, it's very pleasant. It's quite sweet. It's kind of um, almost like a honey taste to it. Um, it does have a maltiness, but it's just pronounced. I wouldn't call it like really pronounced. I suppose it's, for a lager, yes, it's a pronounced maltiness, but not in terms of a malty beer. Um, <clears throat> Let's just sit there for a minute. So let them see what sort of other taste we've got. It's from, as I said before, it's a Bavarian style light lager. It's from uh, south of Munich on the uh, the east banks of the Turgen Sea, which is a lake. Uh, it says the um, their best seller, the brewery's best seller, is actually the Heller's Lager. But the best beer, according to general manager Christian Wagner and many beer enthusiasts, is the Special. It is an outstanding example of a Bavarian style light lager. Wagner would not tell the secrets of the company's brewing art, but he will reveal the beer has a gentle lagering in lying tanks, room cooled, which is especially costly. Interesting. So, no idea what malts or hops are in here because they don't reveal that. Um, if they do on the back of the bottle, it's in German, so I can't possibly say. Um, <laughs> uh, so, let's get another taste. It's got not the off taste lingers for a little bit, but then just sort of drops off. Um, it's, it's, it's decent. I'd happy drink this again. Uh, I do. It doesn't talk about any sort of honey or floral stuff in the taste notes. I think they're missing a trick on. Um, it's a really decent beer. It hasn't got any kind of bitterness to it, uh, which I really like. I don't like beers that are too bitter. And they, there can be some really bitter lagers out there. Um, this one is good. Now, what is the chocolate coin about? It doesn't say what the chocolate coin's about. It's all in German. Uh, yeah. Great beer. Can't really, uh, can't really fault this one. It is, it is a good standard lager. I mean, it's my first ever Bavarian style light lager I've had. That's I'm aware of. Uh, yeah, good. Pretty good. I've not much else to say about this one. So I'll say like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for another beer review very, very soon.